So what is going on everybody, my name is Mehul and welcome to your 10th React.js tutorial in which I'm going to show you how you can pass data from parent component or actually from child component to parent component. We have seen earlier that uh, you can pass parent component data from parent components to child components with props and uh, access them. Well, how do we do that the reverse way? Well, the answer is that we can just create a method inside the parent component itself and we can just call it from the child component and do all that updation necessary stuff. So let's just do that. So first of all, inside or actually let's just create another component and we can just say this is uh, something like planet properties.js and we would just need react and save this thing as well at least a little bit planet prop for this right there and uh, we can just get rid of this for now and now what we can do is that uh, we can inside a render function return button update parent button and uh, right there we can say planet properties and since we haven't imported it yet we can just do that right now import planet properties from and since we are in the same folder we can just do planet properties like that okay so now we have access to this component and this component pretty much just returns a button to us so now how do we update this state counter from this child component well to do that you can pass in this update this counter as a prop to this you know child component so we can say this as a trigger parent update and we can just say this dot update this counter is the answer right so yeah looks good now what we can do is inside our planet properties.js we can make use of this prop just like we would do normally and we can say button on click is this this dot props dot trigger parent update just like that and uh, let's just see how this looks like so we have update this update parent right update parent button and if i click on this you can see that our parent is updating this is your parent this counter lies in parent component this button is in child component and we are updating parent from child so again you can just pass in some data as well by calling a method or you know anything like that you can just modify set state from of parent component from child component like that and that is how pretty much you interact with your parents <laughs> and uh, that's all for this one and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one